Good morning, fisher people. <clears throat> I'm Alan Noyes from Fish on TV. It is Sunday, the 28th of May. And as you've seen, I've just arrived here at Hayfield Lakes and just looking at Little Adams down there, there are fish all over the top of the water. That's from scorchy old days. It's not going to be as hot today, but it's still going to be quite high pressure, I think. Let me have a little gadget. Here we go. Oh, it's only going to be 15 degrees today and cloudy. Nice one. At least we're not going to burn to death, are we? So, not too bad pressure. Yeah, it's still quite high pressure. So, I'm here for a qualifier for the Maver match this. Just looking at everybody that's around here. Tids is here. The pace daddy himself. Um, Dave Woods rung me. He said he got eggshells all over bedroom again. He's overlaid. So he's going to be late. What a shock. Uh, but looking forward to it. Mr and Mrs Duck down there having a look at everybody turning up. So I'm going to pay me dues. Pay me pools. Get registered. Um, both Adams and Island Lake are in. Going off form, you would probably expect Adams to produce the best weight. But a but yesterday there was an open match and 200 pound was caught on um on the island lake and i'm guessing it they've caught shallow i know uh oliver gregory one of one of my friends he's caught shallow he's about 150 odd pounds so and everybody's looking at all the fish they're all here look have a quick look look at them all they're looking at the fish the lake's down there and there's fish all over the top of the lake. Not whether you can see. But everybody's getting excited. Oh, it's shallow, it's shallow, it's waggle, it's shallow fishing. Yeah. Slap, 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 slap. Hook a fish. Well, there we go. Morning, Robin. Right, so. Um, I'll go pay my dues. We'll see where we get drawn. It is. You've got to draw on a load of fish to win this match. You're not going to draw an average peg and win it. Um, it's a day's fishing if you draw an average peg. Let's just see where we get drawn. If there's a load of fish in front of you, you've a right chance. And that's what everybody's here for. So, there we go. Um, we'll wait for Woody. Don't know whether he's going to have a chat or not. We'll see. Right, we shall see you guys at the draw. take me long to get ready to be honest with you there's only one well two methods I'm hoping to use pretty much all day and that's the waggler and bomb that's pretty much it 
but I have got to show you. I've got my Wagner rod set up here. I've got a method rod there, bomb rod, just for cupping in. I might, I might chuck, put a few uh, pouches, pouches. What are they? Pouches. Cupfuls of bait down here. I have seen one or two fish knocking about, but they're usually the only small ones. But put something down there. I've got method later, I suppose, if I wanted to. And I've just got a, a shallow rig and a mugging rig. Just those two. That's it. So basically, shallow. It's there's a bit more of a breeze on it than I'd like for the waggler, but this time of year they are a bit ravenous. So if they're there, we'll get a few. Um, I'll show you my peg. There we go. So if I wanted to go shallow on pole, I can mug all around here if I see anything. But we can't see a thing at the minute. I'll probably be about 25 to 30 yards, meters, out there on Waggler. Finding pellets all day and I can put a bomb over the top as well. And like I say, I've got this margin here. I'm not bothered about putting pole in. You get plague with, with small ones. But I suppose a method, just as it drops off down here, somewhere around this area, might work. But I'm, I'm hoping I won't even have to use that. I'm just hoping to keep catching all day on Waggler. That'd be, that'd be the perfect day for me. Uh, bait wise, as you can see, I've got micros just to put down there. It's mainly eight mils, six mils, and I've got some more Ooh, down there. And I've got some more in the van. Three keep nets, hopefully put five out. 50 pound net limit. If you go over 50 pound, you are disqualified. So as soon as I've got 35 on my clicker, next net, that'll be me. Um, and that's it, folks. Um, dead easy. Oh, so hold on a minute. A couple of catapults. Wafters if I need them, the watch if I need it. Tidy tackles, one, two, three. I'm hoping I'm going to be filling those up. And just various wagglers. There we go, that's it. I've got Lee Riley, I don't know who this chap is. I've got Lee Riley, uh, Golden Reel champion down there, the Viking himself. And you can't see him because he's not at his peg. I've got Paul right here. He's just set the waggler up and he's got his bomb rodders just in case. And he's up there, look. Just chilling out. <laughs> right, there we go. So, half an hour before the match, we'll, I'll get my britches on and uh, hopefully we'll catch a few fishes. Over and out. Right, Paul got one pretty much, about well, third or fourth cast. Uh, just we're about 10, 10 minutes in. It's not a big one. He's got a decent one of Paul. And I've just got this one. I've had a couple of bites and I think that's what it was earlier, Carasio's. Only about a pound and a half, maybe two. I'll put two on because we don't want to be getting caught out folks, do we? wind is definitely not helping with with the waggler. I've had to put a lot heavier waggler on than I wanted. And I'm not I'm not going to my maximum just yet. I can almost work out. Get that line down nice and tight and if I flick it like that the toes that way, so it's holding it fairly still. The wind's blowing that way, toes that way, so it's staying fairly still. If anything, it moves that way slightly. And then only a little bites. That one, I got it on the uh, on the twitch. Give that little twitch. Not 
nothing. Bring it in a little bit and set it up again. So that's pretty much what we're doing. I'm not doing a lot of pellets. I'm doing like four pellets at a time. And back out again. Right, I've had another Carasio and I've just got this one, third fish. And there's definitely Carasios out there because <coughs> the bites are finicky little bites. This one a better one, so I'm assuming it's a bigger fish. Oh, it's a Carasio again. I seem to have quite a few Carasios in front of oh, don't go in the net. That's one up to itself, nice one. So he's about two and a half pound or so. I'm gonna put three on just so on the safe side. Do two lots, I like to do main lot short and then a few, just one or two a little bit long where my float's gonna land. Tell it's still on, let's get it out there. I'm trying to keep it fairly low the float because of this wind and not a big bow in my line. Just sink half of it like that, it tends to hold it still with this bit of a toe that it's got. Oh, that's a strong wind. Oh, if you try and get it a bit further, that wind gets hold of them. That's why I've not chose to go too far out. Never get my pellets accurate at all, they Gus got those. Luckily, there's only two or three on that one that I do slightly longer. There we go, folks, we're steady away. We've not had any big calf yet. Another Carasio bite. Just tell them. We'll get back out there. A bit of patience and persistence, folks. And I have hooked into another one. It feels like a better fish. on this time. Yes, we've got him. A little bit bigger. It'll be a good for four and a half, maybe five, five pounds maybe. Four and a half is a long slim and I'm gonna put five down. And I have been getting bites, they've just been pretty difficult to hit. Right, before we get going, get a few more pellets out. Difficult when you've got a fish on to try and get them pellets accurate with this wind. Hard enough without playing a fish. So there we go. Let's get another pellet on. And it's not the easiest waggler fishing I've ever done this with this wind. But I tell, but I tell you what, it's enjoyable. Very enjoyable. 
see if we can get a few more. Right. Again, I think this is a better fish. Maybe it's a bit of a scrap up. three lots of pellets out. I was just trying to keep them there because I feel like there's one or two fish moved in there. Ah, oh, they're angry then. So I've got this clutch set like this. This one is, is going berserk, is this? I'd have thought it would foul up where it's going. I don't think he is, he's just like screaming everywhere. Come on, come on the crazy cap. Come on you crazy fool. Oh you bloody thing. Nobody likes to see that, does it? Folks, let's hope we can keep this one on. Can you believe it? I feel like I've got a bit of a, a cold. It's been boiling. Just checking the sounds on. What is off? I'm going to concentrate and get this one in. pellets out while I've got this on at the minute. Is that windy? I need to aim like to opposite below where its target is. Look at that, it's blowing that. I don't think he's a massive one, I just think he's one of them sort of four or five pounders that's acting rather mighty. Mighty fish. Come on. Yes, I thought it was. Four or five pounders. Yeah, mint condition, I think they're one of the new ones. What a scrap. Well done, son. Excellent. What a mighty battle you put up. Yes. Don't in the net for bag. Get in. 
One, two, three, four, five. So now we're up to, we're just over an hour in, an hour and 10 minutes in. 17 pound, it could have been over 20. If I'd have had that other one, that's a bloody shame. Now we're steady away, folks. Let me get some pellets in. I just wanted to make sure I got that one in. Full concentration. Right. I can't believe we're catching up waggler in this wind. It's os work. Os work. Four at a time. Look at that, they just go in like that. It's, they are landing where I want them though. Not in any rush here, so let's just get them confident again. I'm firing them about two or three metres at three metres max height. Just trying to stop them. So I'm aiming to the blow in the middle next to the red med, uh, what is it, life boy thing. <laughs> it's blowing round to the bloke in front of me. <laughs> as low as possible. And I've had to put this heavier float on that I didn't want to use because of the wind. So there we go folks, we're doing all right, we're steady away. We're not breaking any pots, but you just never know. They might get really hungry where I am here. See, I just didn't quite aim it enough left. That's going to right of me float. No good. Can you believe it? Wind drop then, they stayed straight. <laughs> it's unreal, isn't it? It's alright, I'll have this fishing line. That's why we love it. A bit further, I'll just get that quick flick. That's miles past my pellets, but I don't mind that now and again. You can have these fish backing off, and you tend to get some bigger ones at the back. I'm saying miles, it's only a couple of meters. And we'll pull it back into there. Perfect. Go on, go on. It is sometimes, it, you'll have 10 or 15 minutes without a sign and then you'll get two or three indications. That's too much of a bow, don't mind that. Right, there we go folks. Oh, run out. Another crazy fool one. Darting all over this. Darting everywhere. Look at him going, look at him. Come on, sun comes to the top. Not about it. He won't, he won't. He won't show his face, will he, folks? As soon as you lift them, they want it to be off. I'm going to put it down. All right, steady. We've got to get him into a bit of a false sense of security. Oh, you're safe, you're safe. Now you're coming up, come on. And he's like, no, no, freedom. I can't believe he's put a scrap up like that. I thought that would have cast. Right bottle of the stuff. Tell you what, you've been eating your spinach, you. Never mind bellets. Another one about two pound. There we go. Oh, not quite 20 yet, folks. We'll keep batting on.
back, well, I'm not had a bite for ages, I lost one earlier, good fish, a bomb. <coughs> and I'm leaving it a little bit longer now on the bomb. And it's just gone round again. Lee Riley's catching quite well on Waggler. Um, it's gone quiet for Paul as well, he's had the odd small fish. around here this wind's not made it easy with waggler <coughs> um, the one I lost were a good fish that were bigger than this one no reason the laddie hook just pulled out this is putting a decent scrap up as well guessing it's one of them four pounders Lively four pounders. Oh, to have scrap. Come on, son. Oh, it's, not, it's a ghosty. Lee Riley's probably doing the best round here. That's, uh, I can't even see it. Hook, it's right in the scissors. about five pounds, four or five pounds, five pounds I'll give him. Not enough, we need loads of those folks. So I'm going to give that another go, eight mil pellet. Let's get back in for another. Right, I have caught some fish, I went, I'd look, I've been baiting up short <coughs> all day and I've had about six fish off it but they've been the really small carp skimmers have turned up even on a nine mil wafter but i've kept baiting the uh, waggler line up <coughs> gone back out on it second cast hooked into one we're not going to win anything folks with what i've caught hopefully this will take me over 30 pound Not a few fish, but nowhere near enough to threaten anything. It's been enjoyable fishing Waggler most of the day. It has been difficult in this wind. Paul's had a few, he's stuck at it all down Waggler. Pound. Just not the stamper fish we were after really. It's alright catching these but you need loads of them. <coughs> That'll take me to 31 pound. Yeah, like I said, it has been enjoyable fishing waggler all day. I've not done that for a long time. Well most of the day. Even with the ones that I'd lost, I might have had £40 maybe, but again, that's not enough. We've got 15 minutes left, folks. So, uh, we'll probably... I'm not even sure whether to weigh in or not, because there's a lot of people here. It'll save them a bit of time, but we'll see. Right. 
We'll see, folks. So it's not ideal, this wind. Having to sink your line and use the toe. Wind blowing that way, toe going that way. It keeps it reasonably still, but it's just not the perfect presentation or accuracy with your catapulting, neither. But you can only do your best, folks. You can only do your best. <laughs> Don't know how Woody's got on. I'm pretty sure he'll have enjoyed it today. The fish waggler there, I'm sure. So, we'll crack on. Let's see if we get it. That's ridiculous. Actually, that's gone right round my float, but bend it like Beckham, catapulting. Right, over and out. Well, I'm folks we're all weighed in just got in my van i think i've slept funny <laughs> got a crook neck it's not nice is it that right blustery that i did set my pole up i did set some shallow rigs up i didn't fancy holding a pole in that one or two's done it and actually there's one young lad a bit further down how many pegs down i think he was on about 20 one something like that pick 21 he's fish shallow i think he's fish jigger i'm watching him i think he's fish jigger and he's weighed 200 pound the guy to my right's not weighed in i'm guessing he had about 20 pound i've had 29 pound paul's had 46 the guy next to him's not weighed in and i think on the other side I heard somebody say they got £31. It's fished quite hard for most. That young man, I think it's I forgot what's his name now. Uh is it Ryan? I can't remember his name. I've forgotten his name, I do apologise. But that's a great way that he's stuck Paul out all day because I was looking and thinking, I don't know how he's holding that in this all day today. He's done brilliant. That's that's the right result, it's £200. Um I decided waggler i know waggler works on here keeping the waggler in the same spot wasn't the main problem the main problem was catapulting your pellets round it that was difficult so i think i don't know how far to the left i was aiming i must have been aiming 15 yards to the left and it blow around and you just cannot put them in the same spot you cannot get them bubbling it, it, it was difficult but we had one or two. I've had quite a few fish. I fed the short line, um, which I wasn't going to use pole short because you get pestered with them small carp and a lot of skimmers, a lot of little skimmers. So I thought I'll keep feeding it all day with six mils. I put some micros down with a half an hour before I intended to go on it. And I thought I'll put a method with a nine mil wafter. And if there's anything decent comes in, jobs are good. <sighs> Just one after another, <laughs> the greedy little buggers. They've just straight round. And I dare say I could have caught more on the pole catching them all day than what I've actually had. Because it was just, after I had six or seven and, and, and your, your tips just going like this all the time, I just thought, no, I, I'm not doing that. So 
So I gave I, I gave that up as a bad job. I did have I did fill it in quite a bit more. I had another go and I ended up with another skimmer <laughs> on a nine mil wafty. You can't write it, can you? Um, I've had a few cap. God, I've got a stiff neck. I don't know what that's with. Just come on this afternoon. Um, I lost a couple on the bomb. I've lost three fish today. Even with those three fish, I think I would have had maybe £40. Pound. One of them was a good fish. Um, the others, I'm guessing, were three to four poundish. So, you know, it is what it is. You do lose fish in, in fishing matches. But I've thoroughly enjoyed fishing the waggler. That is testing conditions. I'm sure in the right conditions, you get them pellets where you, exactly where you want them. I think there was £100 plus on the cars all day long. The bites... They're not, the, they're not your typical waggler pulling line straight out. Don't get me wrong, I had the odd one that did it. But the rest are just like that, just like F1 bites. I'm pretty sure it's it's probably those. You had to strike at everything. I think Lee Riley's had £100. He's like opposite the island. He's, he's fished a good match on waggler there. I think he had one or two shallow, but I think he gave that up as a bad job. It, were, it must have been hard work holding that pole at 14 metres. It must have been. But... That young man's done really, really well. But I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Testing conditions. I really persevered with the waggler. I gave it a rest for half an hour or so. Kept feeding it. <clears throat> I have had quite a few fish, but no size. No size. But again, you know, it's a maver match this. We're here to catch a few fish. I've caught a few fish. Just not enough and not the right size. Thoroughly enjoyed it. So I hope you've enjoyed it too, folks. Maybe match this qualifier over for Nosh. Woody has had a lovely peg on Adam's wind behind. He's fished shallow all day. He says that he thinks he's about 50 pound ish. So well done, Woody. Done well there. I think Tids is had similar 40 odd, 50, 50 odd. I don't know. He's, I'm not there. It's just what, what Dave's told me. So they've uh, done right. And I don't know how the rest of Adam's has gone on. Uh, if the poster results up, I'll, I'll get Edley to put them up for you. So that's it from me. What have I got next? Um, I know I've got um, a feeder masters coming up shortly. Let's have a look. Um, yes, I've got a feeder masters on the 4th. I've got a feeder king on the 7th of June. And um, I've got my super cup on the 11th of June. So looking forward to those so plenty to be going at that's it from me folks don't forget it is absolutely free to subscribe to this channel um, if you click the notification bell you will get all our videos as we upload them and a thumbs up would be very very nice yeah good very very nice so that's it from me um, until next time on the bank at Carmel Dam, I think it is. Yes, pretty sure it's Carmel Dam yet for me. Take care, folks, and don't forget. I was going to say, keep on bagging. Fitch on. <laughs>